Ladies and gentlemen, next on the line is Mr. Justin Garcia from <laughs> South Central. <laughs> Hey, I'm Justin. This is my first time ever doing one of this, so if I die horribly, I'll just fall backwards and nobody say me, okay? All right. I have confidence. I love anime. I'm a giant anime fan. Besides, you know, the obvious weight, I'm actually a giant anime fan. You know, I, I, but growing up, I always had questions about stuff. You know, I, but I think after all the years have gone by, I finally get the game. Men will never be Kenshiro, women will never be Yodoichi, and I'll never be in an anime because I am black. Aww. And Mexican. Damn, I'm fucked up, aren't I? I wrote my jokes on my hand, so get to the next joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I love Japan, though. Really, I really love Japan. But they are some fucked up people. You've got 10-year-olds walking around with ass-kicking animals saying, go, get his ass. Maybe can't walk around and feel safe anymore. 12-year-olds being bad enough dudes and saving princesses, and 14-year-olds piloting giant mechs. What happens when you reach 30? Does it all just go downhill from there? It's like, once you hit like midlife crisis when you're 25? And honestly, I just I feel like I can't do anything in Japan. You think I could walk around with a blue Naruto Leaf Village headband and not end up like... Believe it, brah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wrong colors. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anime has a lot of perks, though. I mean, it's got a lot of good things, but with all that little, tiny, pea-sized good thing, you got the bullshit that invests it. Anybody ever meet this one guy, you know, the one type of person that you always know, the insane fanboy? Yeah. You know, you'll be having a conversation with your friend, you rose your hand, Fuck. I am the fuck. <laughs> you never talk with your friends, you know, this guy will just run up to you and pop up out of the ground like Diglett and be like, hey, let me give you 121 questions to test something that you already know. You know, stuff ranging from the sublime to the ridiculous. I mean, he'll give you stuff and you'll go home thinking, God, am I not an anime fan anymore? Maybe I don't like One Piece because I don't know Luffy's hat size. Or maybe because I don't know how far I can stretch his dick. <laughs> Is it in the manga? No. I'm just, just for you, oh, personal experience. But just for you, I, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't read manga. And I know you're probably gonna stone me, so. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now, so just, just hear me out. I don't read manga. Two reasons. One, I barely keep it up with TV as it is. I have to go outside to the places that sell them and watch it and hope I get the right thing and it's not Food Shopping Network. <laughs> Second off, I'm from South Central, as he said. Finding books in the ghetto is harder than finding a hentai that doesn't involve underage characters, penises, tentacles, and more rape. <laughs> Possible. I mean, and plus you wrote the mangas backwards, so niggas think when you open the book and it says the end, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one piece chapter I ever read. <laughs> You're cool. It's cottage players. Y'all are cool! Because you are not 300 pounds and wear outfits that consist of shoestrings. Yeah! Okay? Women should not dress up as my Shiranui if they have six pairs of ass cheeks hanging out their shorts. If, if any guys out there laugh, it's the same for you. If you have double D tits and have a beer gut belly, you cannot be calling enough. I'm sorry. That was disgusting. I ain't gonna do that to y'all no more. Apologize. To me, anime makes people look inadequate. You know, you look at the guy in the mirror, you look at the guy in your post and you're like, I'll never be that sexy. Because think about it, guys, you ever like be with your girl watching an anime and you'll feel like you can be buff, charming, and intelligent, and sophisticated, and you'll still lose to Moroku at a drunk, wet t-shirt contest when he's drunk, high, naked, and in the snow. Hell yes! Yeah, you, man. <laughs> Matt, don't get naked for me. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say to you people? <laughs> but women, it goes for you too. Uh, honestly, women, it's the same thing for you because you can 
wear mini skirts and have librarian specs and wear like the really sexy tube tops. And if you're not with your boyfriend at the end of the night, they'll be cuddling his body pillow while watching Bob the Black. Oh, I heard people just go, damn. True story. I'm so sorry. One thing I like about anime fans is y'all can be a rowdy ass one punch. I love the fact that anime people can go out and party. Seriously, but I, I'm scared of y'all. I will not fuck with anime fans. Because you know, like one guy just came in here and kicked the door down and said, like, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach are overrated, sucky ass animes. What would you say? <laughs> fuck you? Good thing I didn't use that as my opener. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, um, I like the fact that family and anime never mixes. I don't know if you've ever had your family members try to watch anime with you. Matt's stealing more water. <laughs> Red light, green light. Red light. I don't know if you've ever had anime, your family members watch anime with you, with me. Like, I try to explain them. I'm like, Yu Yu show. It's like one of my favorites, you know? I'm like thinking, all right, mom, just sit down and listen. It's this kid. He gets hit by a car. He dies. But he doesn't die. He comes back to life. He works for God. He works for God. God's like a toddler, and, you know, he looks like a bad carnival prize. And then he's got these three friends, and um, one of them has got like a thousand eyes. Another one can make weapons out of grass, and another guy has a red pompadour, and is kind of ugly looking in the face, but he's his rival. And they just look at me like, Wait, give me a second. He got hit by a car? <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah, let me go into more detail. It's like, yeah, and he's got a drunk mom and a, and a girlfriend, and it's just like, fuck you. I ain't got a hundred more years to let you hear, let me hear your story. I can't understand you right now. Sailor Moon. I need to not write in cursive on skin. Sailor Moon. When I was growing up, I don't know if anybody else watched it on Toonami. Yeah. Of course. Me and my sister used to watch it together, and already that seems a little strange. But you know, don't don't judge me. My family members would watch. It. Judge. <laughs> my parents watched it with me, and they think you know it's innocent teenage girls with superpowers, you know, trying to save the world. And they thought it was all cool until the women started to become men, and the men started to become pansies. And then they thought I was gay. I wore pink ribbons for a lot of my life. Oh, man, I just made myself depressed. <laughs> Honestly, on a final note, though, I would love to live in Japan, though. Honestly, that's just like my one life journey, just to live in Japan for one, like, give me a month. Just one week with my friends coming over, and I'll be like, all right, we got a heavy day in front of us. Everything's just going to make more sense now. Monday, Godzilla attacks. Tuesday, get to the fallout shelter because the Gundam fights are going on. Wednesday, technical monster attacks, so free peep show for all you gentlemen. Uh, Thursday, become a pirate and attack a ninja. Friday, uh, go and catch all the Pokemans. Uh, Saturday, go back in time and fix a jewel that some dumb bitch broke in the first place. And don't get me started on Sunday. Sunday. This town gets infested with grown men playing children's card games on motorcycles. I'm Justin Garcia, and thank you. I'm glad you're here.